As an Olympic gymnast who gained a lot of fame and success from a young age, Nadia Kamenichi is loved for many reasons. Nadia is a retired gymnast and a five-time Olympic gold medalist. The former gymnast has accomplished what no one had ever done before in professional gymnastics. At the early age of 14, Kamenichi was the first gymnast to be awarded a perfect score of 10.0 at the 1976 Olympic Games. Likewise, she recorded the perfect 10.06 more times and became the youngest all-around Olympic gold medalist. As expected, Nadia is one of the world's best-known gymnasts, early life and family. Nadia Elena Kamenichi Connor Shortly, Nadia Kamenichi, was born in Onesti, Romania to parents Gheorghe Kamenichi and Stefania Alexandrina Kamenichi. Interestingly, Nadia was named after a heroine Nadeta from a Russian film that her parents had seen before her birth. Born as a second child of two, Kamenichi's father worked as an auto mechanic while her mother was an office employee. Sadly, her parents separated in the 1970s, and her father later moved to Bucharest, the capital. Further, Nadia and her younger brother Adrian Kamenichi were raised in the Romanian Orthodox Church. Nadia was very energetic and active as a child, who loved to explore new things. In a 2011 interview, Kamenichi's mother said that she enrolled Nadia into gymnastics classes because she was a child who was so full of energy and difficult to manage. Moreover, Nadia began gymnastics in kindergarten with coaches Duncan and Muntianu in a local team called Flakara, the Flame. As for her education, Nadia attended the University of Politenica of Bucharest. The former gymnast is 61 years old as of time of this video. Also, her birthday falls on November 12th, and her sun sign is Scorpio. And from what we know, the people of this sign are ambitious, talented, and brave. Likewise, Nadia stands at the height of 5 feet 4 inches, 1.63 meters, and weighs a perfect 45 kilogram. Further, Kamenichi has a slim well-endowed body measuring 36 inches of the breast, 24 inches of the waist, and 35 inches of hips. Also, her shoe size is 6.5, US. Besides this, Nadia has short blonde hair and stunning black eyes that look beautiful with her fair complexion wide broad smile. Diet plan. A person is what he or she eats every day. With Nadia Kamenichi, she has fluid control over her eating habits. So let's dive right into her diet schedule. At first, Nadia indulges in freshly squeezed orange juice to start her day. It is often followed by a cup of coffee with a little milk, yogurt, brown toast, turkey, and a little bit of cheese. In contrast, a boiled egg is a rare thing. For lunch, she eats the wraps from the leftovers of the previous dinner, which is a combination of salmon, hummus, and cheese. In the end, Nadia munches fish with hummus and salads for her dinner. Talking about fish, Nadia stated that she is allergic to tuna. As for french fries, she left it decades ago. Nadia opened up that her favorite dish is an eggplant dip with a Romanian recipe among all her dishes. Workout alongside healthy eating is her active routine with a series of exercises. Every day, her morning starts with short, quick workouts which last for 30 minutes. Well, that workout especially includes cardio. Additionally, she is involved in running, stretching, and lightweight. Early career, where it all began. Initially, professional gymnastic coach Bella Caroli and his wife went from school to school looking for young girls to invite to their gymnastics academy. Likewise, when they attended Nadia's school and saw her doing a cartwheel on the playground for the first time, they knew that she would be amazing. Seeing her skills, Bella immediately invited Nadia to his gym. So, at the early age of six, Nadia stepped into the gym for the first time. There she used to train for two to three hours a day. Following training and continuous improvement of her skills in 1969, Nadia entered her first official competition, the Romanian National Junior Championship, and finished in 13th place. Even though Nadia did not do so well, she did not get discouraged. Instead, that next year, she tried again and won. Later, when Kamenichi turned 12, she went to live and train with Caroli, 8 hours a day and 6 days a week. Professional Gymnastic Career in 1976 when Kamenichi turned 14, she became eligible to compete with seniors. She competed in the American Cup at Madison Square Garden and won a silver medal. 
After that, Nadia competed at the Montreal Olympics. Again, she performed flawlessly and left the judges with no other option but to give her a perfect 10. And this was not the only perfect 10. Nadia also received four. six more during this competition and won three a gold medals score. in the process. Notably, she was the first Romanian gymnast to win the Olympic all-around title. Likewise, she also holds the record as the youngest ever Olympic gymnastics all-around champion. After her huge win at the Montreal Olympics, Nadia's popularity and fame could go nowhere but up. Alongside numerous awards and accolades, the talented gymnast even got her own theme song. Initially, Robert Rigger created a video with a series of slow-motion footage of Nadia's Olympic performances. Later, it got so popular that the song became a hit single by the end of 1976. So, composers decided to rename the song as, Nadia's Theme. Moreover, Nadia's fame and popularity just kept on coming after the Montreal Olympics. She was named BBC's Overseas Sports Personality and Female Athlete of the Year in 1976, the downfall of a gymnast. Likewise, back in her home in Romania, Kamenici, she was also awarded the Sickle and Hammer Gold Medal and was named a hero of socialist labor for her success. Further, in 1977 the Romanian Gymnastics Federation removed Nadia from her longtime coach, Bella, and sent her to Bucharest to train at the sports complex. However, Nadia did not find this change positive and struggled with bodily changes as she grew older. Likewise, her gymnastics skills suffered, and she was so unhappy to the point in life that she even attempted suicide. After the traumatic event, Romanian permitted Nadia to return to Diva and the Caroli school and reassigned Bella as her coach. This brought things back to normal, and she resumed her training. In 1980 she was chosen to participate in the Summer Olympics in Moscow. But, this time, Nadia was nowhere near the previous Olympics achievements. Though she won four medals, two gold and two silver, her performance was far from perfect. Injury. During the 1979 World Championship, Nadia had caught the flu that had left her frail and fragile. Hence, she was feeling quite weak. On the bars, the gymnast scratched her wrist from her metal grip buckle, which resulted in blood poisoning. She was rushed to the hospital, where the doctors advised her not to compete. However, she was forced to compete as her teammate, Amelia Eberly, had fallen off the beam, and the team needed her to secure the gold. Kamenichi performed despite the excruciating pain and led her team to their first-ever world gold medal. The Nadia Tour. In 1981, the communist regime of Romania organized the famous Nadia Tour called Nadia, 81 to try and raise money. It was an official tour of the United States, and her coaches, Bella and Marta Caroli were the group leader. On the last day of the tour, Nadia coaches Bella and Marta Caroli decided to defect to the U.S. Likewise, they indirectly asked Nadia if she wanted to join him. At that time, Nadia had no interest in defecting and wanted to go home to Romania. After Bella's defection, Nadia's life changed as she could not have predicted. The Romanian government was afraid that she might defect as well, just like Bella. As Nadia was a national asset, they strictly monitored and assigned special agents to record her every move. Not to mention, they even recorded her phone calls and banned her from visiting Western countries. Furthermore, the Romanian government didn't even allow Nadia to participate in the 1984 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles. Not to mention, her life became increasingly difficult with the government's constant involvement in her private affairs. Nadia got trapped in her own country, escaping from Romania. In 1989, Kamenici decided to defect to the United States. On the night of November 27, 1989, Nadia defected to the U.S. with other Romanians. They were guided by Constantine Panait, a Romanian expatriate manager who worked as a roofer in Florida. But their journey wasn't easy. They would mostly walk on foot all night to reach the Hungarian border. Nadia and her group could reach the Hungarian border despite all the harshness and trouble. After reaching the Hungarian border, they boarded a plane to the United States. Awards and Achievements The United Press International Athlete of the Year Award 1975 and 1976 In 1976, Associated Press Athlete of the Year Award, Hero of Socialist Labor Award, 
BBC Overseas Sports Personality of the Year Award.1983, The Olympic Order Award.1990, International Women's Sports Hall of Fame 1993, International Gymnastics Hall of Fame 1998, Marco Leenda Award, Flo Hyman Memorial Award 2004, The Olympic Order Award 2016, Great Immigrant Honoree by Carnegie Corporation of New York Nadia Kamenichi's book, Letters to a Young Gymnast was published on 2004. 1984. Nadia was the subject of a biopic television film, Nadia 2012. Universal Pictures chose Nadia to dub Granny Norma in Romanian in the animated movie The Lorax.2015. Katie Holmes directed a short documentary about Kamenichi entitled Eternal Princess.2016. Arte France produced a Pola Rappaport documentary about Nadia entitled Nadia Kamenichi, La Gymnaste et la Dictator, Personal Life and Husband. Nadia Kamenichi is happily married to her husband, Bart Connor. Bart is a former American Olympic gymnast. Bart and Nadia crossed paths for the first time in 1976. Similarly, they first met at Madison Square Garden in New York while standing at the winner's podium. Both of them were competing in the American Cup, and Bart had just won the men's all-around, while Kamenichi was taking home the women's all-around. Eventually, while Brad and Nadia were taking pictures standing at the podium, their photographer said, Oh, she's adorable. Give her a kiss on the cheek, it'd make a nice picture. And history was made. Bart, who was celebrating his 18th birthday that day, had received an unknown and beautiful present. Meeting his future wife. After that event, Bart and Nadia parted ways. Bart returned to the States and Nadia to Romania, and hence the two didn't cross paths that much. After Nadia escaped from Romania in 1989, they met again. That time Bart helped Nadia by inviting her to do gymnastics shows. Slowly, their friendship started and eventually grew into a relationship. Proposal. Similarly, in 1994 Bart proposed to Nadia. Nadia said yes, and they both decided to marry in her hometown. So they held their grand fairy tale wedding in Romania, and the day was like a national event. More than 10,000 people attended their wedding. Everyone even took off work to watch the wedding, which was broadcasted live on television. Their marriage seems an excerpt from a fairy tale book. Moreover, the couple has one son named Dylan Connor, born in June 2006. At present, the duo resides in Norman, Oklahoma. Net worth and income. According to sources, she has accumulated a net worth of $10 million. She has made this much from her successful career and deserves every penny for her hard work. Maz T O F H E R M O N U So M E Z F R O M H E R Zero R T Z E Ng A G E M E N T and H E R R R I V A T E G U M N S T as Z's H U L. Kur E N T L U Nadia is also involved in T E L E V I Z O N So M E N T A R U W R I T E Z F O R G U M N S T is R U B L E S A T E O N Z A N D T R A V E L Z T H E W O R L D R R O M O T I N T H E Zero R T Z. Likewise. Nadia H as also B E N F A A T U R E D I N Z V E R A L D O S U M E N T A R E S T H A T H A V E M A H O R E D I N H E R Z U S A S F U L S A R E R L I F E. Brand deals, commercials, and business. Even today, Nadia has numerous trips all around for gymnastics teachings. In addition, she delivers inspirational speeches and promotes gymnastics, fitness, and healthy lifestyles. Today, alongside her husband, they have partnered with Paul Ziert to run the Bart Connor Gymnastics Academy. Likewise, the duo also operates International Gymnast Magazine, Perfect 10 Productions, Inc. A TV production company, Grips, etc., a gymnastics supply company. Overall, Nadia is a global ambassador for Special Olympics International. At the same time, she is also the founding member of the Laureus Sports for Good Foundation Board. Additionally, she is also involved with the Nadia Kamenichi Foundation and the Nadia Kamenichi Children's Clinic in Bucharest. In the meantime, she is also the ambassador for the International Judo Federation, IJF. Books and Films 
Nadia Kamenichi is a gymnast who has ushered in a new era for women's sports. In fact, for everyone involved in gymnastics. Today, she has written a few books as the guidelines for their path. In 1981, Nadia put forward her autobiography depicting the events starting from her childhood days to becoming a world-class athlete. In 2011, Nadia published a book titled, Letters to a Young Gymnast, which portrays her inspiring and dramatic stories from her own experience. It speaks about one's dream and the hurdles in between. Likewise, some of the films and documentaries on her are listed below. 1984 Biopic Television Film, Nadia 2015 Documentary for ESPN, Eternal Princess, premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival 2016, Arte France Documentary, Nadia Kamenichi, La Gymnaste et la Dictator, Nadia Kamenichi, The Gymnast and the Dictator. You might want to find out more about this personality and others just subscribe to our, our channel, Biography Network. Like, comment and share.